air compressor not building pressure easy fix two years later revisited hello and thank you for stopping by today i'm working on this air compressor it's a central pneumatic from harbor freight and the problem today is it's not building pressure i did a repair on this compressor two years ago and after two years of using it bouncing around in the back of the truck the trailer in the field it went out again and it was the same piece that caused the issue if you want to see a breakdown of this compressor it's an easy disassembly just check the video up above i already have the screws out of it and this piece here if you didn't see the original video goes from the pump to the air tank itself and what happened on one end this aluminum tubing from the vibrations just cracked so I put this piece of copper in and with the theme of my channel being reclaim repair reuse and recycle this copper tubing came from this I pulled this tubing over here from a refrigerator that I'm working on it was for the water line for the ice maker that I won't be using and I just saved it not for this but I saved it for things like this that may pop up now because this tubing was already used it was very difficult to bend if you buy a new piece of copper tubing it's a lot easier to bend I know because I worked with it before this was difficult to bend because it was used already now the tools that you'll need for this you're gonna need something to cut the copper with pipe cutter will do if you don't have this you can use a hacksaw but this makes a cleaner cut and to bend the tubing if you have a tubing bender something like this it helps a lot if you don't have something like this go to AutoZone Advanced Auto and they have the two lentils I believe they have something like this over there you can use a baseball bat just put the tubing on the diameter that you want to bend on the bat and bend it along because if you don't bend this tubing against something round you'll just bend it kink it and it won't work now other than trying to bend this to get it into shape this is a real easy repair I don't know how many compressors must have been thrown out because of that tubing I have gotten a lot of responses from the original video that I did on this and again that was two years ago but one mistake I did make on this trying to rush this along and cowboying it in I didn't allow for the space for the hood to go back on top so I can't button this hood down because this bend is too high up so before I proceed taking this apart and trying to rebend it and so on I'm going to plug this in to make sure it reaches the pressure I didn't use a mic on it by eye the outside diameter looks the same but it doesn't have to be off by much so I'm going to plug this in and see if it reaches pressure be right back getting too cold to stay out here okay I didn't get it up to 100 pounds of pressure yet but it's on its way up and it's holding so that's telling me this line is the right size and it's not leaking now besides the copper tubing you also need these brass leaves I believe uh, I believe I got these from uh, Home Depot they're, they're called brass leaves it's one quarter inch outside diameter I'm reading it just in case this uh, camera isn't picking it up. And the uh, number on the bag here is 536-555-A-2. You'll need two of these. you need two of these little travels right here. Besides that, you'll need a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten these nuts up. I'm going to be doing this off camera. I'm going to be disassembling this, seeing if I can bend this without putting a kink in it. I have to bend it low enough to get under this hood or cowling, whatever you want to call it. And if this should bend on me or snap, I have another piece of this tubing from the refrigerator. Let me know if you have any questions or any comments. Post them down below. If you found this video useful, give it a like. It does help and share it with someone else who may find it useful and if you haven't done so already subscribe hit that joe z button and until next time stay warm and be safe